welcome back to a new video and welcome back to my channel uh, i hope you all feel good and that your weekend was awesome um, i haven't been able to upload for a while because i have been working quite a lot and i have been doing some planning or some stuff that i can't really tell you yet but eventually you will know um, but anyways, uh, in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about the forklift. Uh, in my early videos I have gotten some questions about what I'm doing when I'm loading and unloading and uh, yeah, everything goes so fast in my early videos. So in this video I'm going to take it a little bit slower and I'm going to explain why I'm doing certain stuff and uh, I'm going to show you two of my favorite forklifts. So we are going to start in the forklift room and two of my favorite forklifts is the, the old Toyota there and we have the Lind forklift um, but I'm going to start with the Toyota because that is my favorite. Uh, our forklift runs on battery uh, so the first thing we're going to have to do is to unplug it from the loading station and uh, so we're just going to turn off the, the power there uh, and then we're going to take off the cable like this uh, and we're just going to hook it up there and now we're just going to take on the other side of the forklift uh, and we're going to take this cable that i just unhooked and we're going to hook it in in the forklift if you see here like that and then we're just going to take down the seat now we can jump into the forklift and um, so we're just going to climb in here uh, and if you look uh, this is how it looks like uh, we have the steering wheel and you have everything that operates the forks uh, i'm going to show you how those are working too uh, but first we're going to start up the forklift and so if you look here on the right side you have a little key and we're going to turn it on uh, and as you can hear the forklift it makes a little bit of a sound so you know it's on uh, and on this side you have the parking brake and so you're gonna have to take your foot and put it on the brake pedal uh, and then you can turn the parking brake out and then on the right side we have the gears so we have backwards and we have forwards uh, but now we're going to go backwards so we're putting into the rewind mode and back out to our pallet One of the most basic important things you are gonna have to remember uh, is when you are parking the forklift you're gonna make sure that the forks are touching the ground uh, because if they are raised it's much more likely that someone can run into them and hurt themselves uh, so always remember when you are parking make sure that the forks are touching the ground uh, so on this one you rise and lower the forks uh, on this one this is the tilt you want to tilt the pallet against you when you are lifting and moving it around. Uh, this one is to slide the forks in the side left or right. Uh, and this one, this is to split the forks. So you will put it together and you will split it. Put it together and split it. Uh, and this one, this is my favorite. Uh, this is the one that you pull out up like this. And then you will be able to extend the forks. So this is the extender. And this is the extending back uh, and this is back and forward if you're ever going to load a pallet that is uh, longer than usual and it's more heavier in the front and in the back uh, i actually have two options for you or maybe three uh, and the first option i'm just going to tell it so you don't kind of like bring it on into the comment field because you could just take the forks and lift it up on the heavier side uh, but if you're not able to do that maybe you want the heavier side to be in the front of the truck or maybe you're just going to unload it and you can't do anything about it that is heavier in the front and in the back um, what you can do we are also quite spoiled so this is option number two uh, on our forklift we can extend the forks uh, which is quite handy so that's why this is my favorite forklift uh, on the other forklift that we are having, we have extended forks that we can grab and pull on. Uh, but this one is just attached, we can just drag them out. Um, but option number three, if you just have a regular forklift like this, uh, what you're going to have to do to be able to raise the pallet 
is uh, when you are under the pallet on the light side you just as normal go in with the forks under uh, and when you are under with the forks on the pallet you're gonna have to split the forks but you're gonna have to be careful because you don't want to break the pallet um, so you're just gonna have to split them enough so you can feel that the pallet is kind of like holding on to the forks uh, and when it does that you will be able to raise the pallet um, so that is the best tip that I'm having if you're going to load a pallet that is longer than normal and heavier in the front than in the back. I am going to show you what I mean. Um, so the first thing I'm trying is to just lift the pallet up as it is. And so by just going under there. And then by tilting it up, by trying to lift it. But it doesn't work so well. Uh, so we're going to pull it down again. So we're tilting it forward and we're pulling it down. And now I'm going to try to split the forks. And so we're going forward. Now the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to tilt it a little bit. And then I'm going to split the forks. Now we're going to raise it. And now it works. Um, so if you're ever having trouble to lift the pallet that is too heavy in the front, just carefully split the forks and you will be able to lift the pallet. Uh, and when you are loading cargo, you want it to be as high as possible. Uh, so you're going to have to find pallets that is good enough to load other stuff on. Uh, so I chose this pallet, it's a round pallet, uh, but this one is actually perfect to load something up on. Uh, the only thing you're going to have to take is a pallet on to here and then you can load another pallet on it. Uh, so even though cargo may look a little bit weird and it's round, uh, you, could just flip, um, you could just flip an empty pallet and I'm going to load another cargo up on this little round bucket. I basically just grab a pallet, turn it upside down, uh, securing it uh, with another pallet, grabbing some cargo, lift it up, and uh, yeah, that's the thing you're gonna have to do. A pallet, upside down, lift up some cargo, and then it's done. It's very important when you are loading uh, that the pallet underneath can bear the weight that you're putting on top of it. Uh, this pallet was a little bit, the surroundings wasn't so hard that I thought it was a heavy pallet, but it wasn't hard enough to be able to load a few packages. Um, so you're going to have to feel that when you're loading. If you see or feel that the force is going too much down and breaking the pallet underneath, you know that you can't load it in that way so you're gonna have to rethink what you are doing uh, and also when you are loading the pallet and you're backing out you're gonna have to make sure that the pallet really is staying where it should so it doesn't come with the forklift uh, sometimes the forklift can be a little bit tricky and the, uh, the split the split on the forks can split by itself i have been that a lot of times uh, so the pallet still stays on the forks even though you have uh, loaded it so that is also something to think about it's a lot to think about when you're driving the forklift. It's not always you get pallets that are straight and in a proper size. Uh, sometimes you get like cargo like this. And uh, this is actually a street light that I'm hauling. So we haul like everything and anything. Uh, and I thought it was too heavy to carry out by hand. So I'm just gonna have to figure out some ways to use the forklift just to be able to get the cargo out. Uh, but this is the fun part of it to get a little bit of a challenge. And sometimes when you are loading pallets, uh, if you're going to take it from the wide side instead, instead of the short side, uh, you're going to have to make sure so that you don't pull the forks all the way in. Because if you do, you're going to break either the pallet in front of it or you're going to crash into the wall, into the truck. Uh, so make sure when you are loading from this side, you're going to make sure that you don't take the forks all the way in. Um, and that is also so you don't break anything. 
wanted to share one thing with you. Uh, when I started here or when I got my driver's license for trucks, I never in my life thought that I was going to drive a forklift. Uh, so when I started here, I was only driving, you know, those small electrical things when you were standing on, the electrical hand trucks, <laughs> hand forklift. And so, uh, but after a while, there was a guy that was... He was home because he got the shy, so he was home for six months, I think. Uh, so they asked me if I wanted to start here, and I was like, oh, well, okay, I can try it out. And I just hated it so much, but I kind of like, I was forced to drive the forklift. And today I am so happy that I did, because I made an achievement on something that I didn't even know that I had. When I first started here, I hated to drive the forklift, and now I love it. So it's so weird how you can change. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that. Um, well guys, uh, that was all in this video. Uh, I hope you liked it and uh, I'm not sure if I cut all of the most important things I think I did. I don't know. Uh, you know when you're doing something every day it kind of goes on automatic. You don't really know what some people think is weird or some people just do like a normal basis. Uh, so if you think I've missed something, left something out or if you have any questions about something, uh, just drop a comment down here and I will get back to you <laughs> and um, yeah like i said have an awesome week and just take care of yourself and i will see you in the next video guys good night